You have to know uh, the um, stock exchanges are considered to be critical infrastructures. And uh, yeah, the very definition of being critical is that you have to simply be there when it becomes critical. And, you know, shutting down uh, the exchanges leads uh, to only one thing, and that is the transition of the trading into the uh, OTC space, where it is less regulated, less uh, transparent, and uh, where it is conducted uh, with even greater volatility. Right. Uh, when it comes to greater volatility, though, we know that things, uh, when it comes to markets, are a, a lot more amplified. The swings up and down are a lot more amplified, of course, when we have this extreme volatility out there. Uh, from your point of view over the last few weeks, uh, how have things been holding up when it comes to, of course, not only uh, the people working at the stock exchange, but the technology and the infrastructure around it as well, given the volatility that we have yeah. been seeing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Volatility management, you're right, is at the very heart of uh, any exchange operation. Uh, maybe the audience should uh, first know that the market uh, infrastructure in Europe is uh, slightly different from that one in the U.S. There is no trade through regulation whatsoever, so shocks spread uh, somewhat uh, more slowly here uh, in Europe. And uh, we have uh, also what you call uh, circuit breakers uh, in place now, uh, or extended opening call phases. We call that volatility uh, interruptions. And that is something that is very, very well known uh, in European trading systems for, for over two uh, decades. And by the way, volatility eruptions, interruptions, that is uh, something we apply even on a single stock basis. So we do not shut down the entire market. And I would always deem that to be uh, the better approach concerning uh, the state of the exchange uh, itself, well, we have been uh, fully electronic since uh, 20 years, and uh, so we transitioned very seamlessly into the home office according to our business uh, continuity planning. Uh, we are capable of running the exchange entirely uh, remote, so the stock exchange uh, remains fully operational. Uh, same applies, by the way, for the other four partner exchanges in the region, the uh, Ljubljana Stock Exchange, the Zagreb Stock Exchange, Budapest, and the uh, Prague Stock Exchange. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.